SCS2 2022 introduces several enhancements to the handrail member, such as additional options for galvanizing vent holes, fine tooth control of the picket spacing, and the ability to add corner posts and L-shaped connection plates. In addition to the modeling side, there has been improvements to the detail templates as well. Since we have added in more control, the scroll bars have been added so you don't need to be concerned about not seeing everything in your window. External vent holes can be added to the end post elbows, and PNs you can add them to the elbow, rail, or none at all. Internal vent holes now have the option to control the hole diameter for posts, the mid rail, pickets, and grab bar. You also can add in external vent holes in the top rail. You can set all of these defaults in your project settings under Job, Plugin Defaults, Member Plugin Defaults, and Handrail. Galvanizing options are covered more in depth in another video, but here are some examples. Improvements have also been made to the detailing templates to call out the internal vent holes along with capitalizing everything in the handrail label. SCS2 has enhanced controls for the picket spacing with more automation to make the spacing equal and architecturally pleasing as well as more user controls. We will cover this more in depth in another video, but in this example I will change my max clearance to 4 and rounding up to the near 16th. Now when I measure the spacing, I will get 3 and 15 16 inches across my face to face for my pickets. Taking a look at the detail, you can see the face to face clearance dimension, and these are to the exact 16th of an inch. If I had a dimension that was not to the near 16th of an inch, then it would have a plus or minus next to the dimension. You can see the spacing data is in the secondary dimension. This can be controlled in your plugin setup for handrail to make the spacing on the same line. Picket spacing is now measured horizontal from face to face for handrail and stairs. In prior versions, this was along the slope. If the posts are moved for this example at the top or bottom, SDS2 will automatically recalculate and adjust the picket spacing. SDS2 now supports adding in corner posts with the handrail tool. This is located in the general area and depending on which option you select, it will affect the orientation of the connection. We will cover this more in depth in a separate video. The last major thing that was added was the new L-shaped plate connection, which will come in handy with the corner posts. 